Today we'll show you a laptop that isn't a new model, but can still kick ass in modern titles. We've decided to make a video review of the Dell G15 5511. Some of its configurations are still the best offerings on the market. Despite being a more affordable model, the chassis of the G15 is relatively sturdy, as the plastic body doesn't flex much, while the lid opens with one hand. The laptop has eaten its wages along with everything else, weighing 2.81 kg and having a profile of 25 mm. The backside is big as well, accommodating large heat sinks. The black chassis looks like a stealth aircraft, with a Dell logo in the middle, a triangle-shaped bulge and a red G on the backside. The keyboard feels very similar to the office units inside the Wastrow notebooks, which isn't ideal for gaming. It does, however, light up in white, while a four-zone RGB option is also available. The touchpad could have been bigger, considering all the real estate that's available. It's responsive, but has a pretty large dead zone. We like to see more and more laptops having I.O. on the back, as it helps to make your setup feel less cluttered. The G15 has some of it there, with a Thunderbolt 4 port or a basic Type-C 10 gigabit port, depending on your GPU one full-sized 5 gigabit USB port, an HDMI 2.1, and a power plug. Then on the left you have a LAN port and an audio jack. Lastly, on the right you get two more USB 2.0 ports. There are three displays to pick from, all with a Full HD resolution and an IPS panel. The base model has a 120Hz refresh rate, while 165Hz and 360Hz options are also available. The 120Hz model doesn't really offer a lot in terms of colors, however, the other options are quite good for design and creative work. We are talking 100% sRGB coverage and around 300 nits of brightness. The laptop comes with either a 56Wh battery or an 86Wh battery. We tested a smaller version, paired with the Core i7-11800H and the RTX 3050 Ti, which got us around 9 hours and 15 minutes of web browsing or 6 hours and 24 minutes of video playback. And that is a pretty good result. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome! As for performance, the Core i7 did quite well, outscoring its AMD rival, the Ryzen 7 5800H, inside multiple competitors, including the AMD version of the laptop both in 3D rendering and Photoshop. The 3050Ti inside has the full 95W TGP, and it shows reaching similar results to a Legion 5 with the same GPU, a laptop that we would consider higher on the totem pole of gaming devices. The 3050Ti is an excellent GPU for 1080p gaming, having just enough kick to run most games at high settings with good frame rates, albeit some might say that the 4GB frame buffer can be limiting. You know us, we would always value more VRM, however, that's up to Nvidia to decide. The GPU does very well in Forza Horizon 5, providing smooth gameplay even in the highest preset. Here's we have to mention our Laptop Media Benchmarks channel, into which we put a lot of time and effort. We've tested a variety of GPUs in 40 plus games with video footage, so you can decide for yourself if the performance that you are asking for is there. At last, we've come to the cooling. It's got two fans, four heat pipes, and two big heat sinks, which provide ample cooling capacity. The Core i7 11800H maintained very high wattage and clock speeds throughout the whole test at the expense of higher temperatures. Moving to the GPU, this is the best performing RTX 3050 Ti, reaching 1882 MHz and keeping a consistent 88 watts power draw. Comfort was excellent, as the large body does a good job at dissipating the heat, leading to a hotspot of only 36 degrees Celsius. The noise was quite high, albeit we'd heard louder laptops. It would have been a damn shame to have such a chunky notebook with poor upgradability, but thankfully, the G15 5511 provides two SATIM slots for up to 64GB of RAM and two M.2 slots for storage. Keep in mind that one SSD slot is shorter when buying drives. We'll have our teardown video linked in the upper right corner, which shows how to take apart the laptop step by step, including removing the battery and the motherboard itself. The Dell G15 5511 is a very good value-oriented gaming notebook, 
bringing a bunch of CPU and GPU performance, a sturdy chassis, and good displays with options for a more creative focused configuration as well. If you want to see more tests and details about the device, you can check out our in-depth review. The link is in the video description below.